Do you want an NFT store in the metaverse where people can pay with different payment methods, including Binance, Coinbase, and credit cards? A place that not only allows you to sell virtual goods, but also offers a custom experience to your community with events, games, and other forms of entertainment. Well, you're in the right video. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly that how to sell NFTs on the metaverse. Because selling on OpenSea is boring and has nothing unique, and you're gonna provide a custom experience. We're going to be using the Decentraland platform, which as its name says, it's decentralized. Imagine spending time, resources, and energy building on one platform that one day disappears or runs out of business, or even worse, they censor you. You can lose everything. To prevent this from happening, in my opinion, it's always better to choose the centralized platforms. And the Centraland is one of the best examples. It's open source. Anyone can add their own node to host the Centraland. It's being developed mostly by a non-profit foundation, and it has a community willing to spend money. Now, it's true that back in the days, creating and managing a store in the Centraland was not easy at all. Good news, this has changed since the release of a new product called DigiLive. With DigiLive, we will be able to create our 3D NFT store and sell digital assets, accept payments with crypto or credit card, track sales, sell on our website the same things we are selling on the metaverse, and much more since the development won't stop. And if you're a developer or you hire a developer, you can create custom experiences because the central has its own SDK and DigiLive its custom API. So the possibilities are endless. You can have a video game in the same store or do a concert. I'm so, so in love with this product that I have decided to join their team. So yeah, I'm technically biased, but the product is great. But wait, here is the biggest opportunity I haven't told you. DigiLive has a big partnership with the biggest casino and poker room in the central end. It's the central game. That project, it's huge. Probably one of the biggest ones in the metaverse. And all the players of poker earn a token called ICE. These ICE, they can turn it into real money or they can exchange it for real prices like iPhones, MacBooks, and other type of stuff. However, with DigiLive, you accept ICE as a payment method, which allows you to capitalize on all of these players and make them spend crypto in your store instead of the casino or the poker room. And the Essential Games will love this because players are using their tokens to buy stuff on your store, which is naturally good for the economy of DG. So it's probable that you will receive a lot of attention from their community. So using DG Live is not only a good idea for expanding your brand and offering a custom experience to your clients, but it also allows you to extract money from a big community of players willing to spend those tokens. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is decide where we want to publish our store. Right now, we have two alternatives, Lens and Worlds. Let's first talk about Lens. Lens make up the central map, also known as Genesis City. Each plot is 16 meters by 16 meters, and it's surrounded by neighbors. The pros are that can be bought once, there are no subscriptions, it can also be rented if you don't want to pay the full price. It allows you to publish events on the Decentraland website, and since you have neighbors, some people will discover you when walking from another land. Now, the cons is that buying land is expensive. You cannot do too much with only one plot, and you may have neighbors that have horrible buildings around. Let's move to another way of publishing. Worlds. In the central end, you can buy a name. This is similar when you buy a .eth domain for Ethereum, and with that name, you will have a separate place to publish your scene. The pros are that you have to buy it only once, it's cheap, you can use as many plots as you want, no annoying neighbors, nothing, just you. And you can take up to 100 megabytes on files, which for the central end is a lot, unless you want to self-host it on your own server, which it's a bit more complicated. However, you can only have a maximum of 100 players at the same time, at least now. There are no neighbors, so no discoverability, and you cannot use the events page of the central land by default. In fact, if you want to publish an event, you will have to own a land or rent one. I'm going to first teach you how to publish on a rented land, and then we will see it how to do it on a world. On the central land marketplace, choose lands available to rent and other filters you consider appropriate. In this case, I'm going to choose this 4-plot estate and rent it for 7 days using Mana. You need a crypto wallet like Metamask where you will have to approve everything.
Once it's rented, go to scenes and create a new one. Put in a name, a description, and how many plots your scene will be using. In my case, this is 2 by 2 Now we will have to get a 3D structure. The best way is to create one on a 3D software like Blender. Since I know that many of you are not 3D modelers, I'm going to send you a website where you will have a lot of structures to choose from, made by the content creator called Mr. Ninja. So just choose the one that you like and, yeah, download it. Once downloaded on the builder, create a new asset pack and import the file. On your assets, you will have the 3D store. Drag and drop it until it fits. You can hold shift to be more precise. I'm going to put a tile to replace the ground. It's one of the assets made by the central end. And I'm also going to put a Twitter button. I'm also going to edit the asset pack I made before and upload some other items to decorate my store. The idea is to put stands where I will be displaying my NFTs, like my pictures, and some carpets to put my Decentraland wearables. If I press the I button, I will be able to preview my scene and how it's going to look like. Now that I've finished, I'm going to press Publish and choose the lands that I've rented. As you see, the shop is being shown in the central end. For now, it has no NFTs, but let's work on that. We know how to write which coordinates our scene is taking. In the central end, the coordinates are shown on the minimap. In order to do this, we will start walking from the southwest corner to the left land. I'm going to walk and save those coordinates because we will have to use them later. Fine, let's go back to the builder and download the scene, which will be downloaded as a zip. You need to open the zip and extract all the files to a new folder. Now, you may be wondering why we're not using just the builder and we have to download the whole scene. Well, the thing is that the builder is very limited, so if we want to install DigiLive or do anything more complex, we cannot do it directly from the builder, so we have to run the scene locally. In order to do this, we have to install two softwares. The first one is called Node.js, which is a JavaScript environment. You don't have to know this, I'm just telling you what it is, if you want to know. Search Node.js on Google, open the website, and download the last version, and install the software such as you would do with any other software. We're going to do the same, but now with another software called Visual Studio Code, which to make you understand in a simple way, it would be like the text editor for developers, but it also has some other stuff. But let's just summarize on text editor, even if it has more features. On Google search Visual Studio Code, click the first result, download, install it, but don't execute it directly from the installer. Instead, search in your computer once it's installed and execute it as an administrator. It's left to click on Windows, execute as an administrator. I'm going to put down below how you can do it on Mac because it's a bit different. Once open, click the extensions button and search for Decentraland. There are two versions. At the moment of recording this video, the builder uses the SDK 6, so you will have to install the SDK 6 version. Then, once the extension is installed, click File, open a folder, and choose for the folder where we extracted all of the files from our scene. Press I Trust Authors, choose the Decentraland extension, and you will start seeing how install some dependencies. Now that all the dependencies are installed, go to a terminal and write npm install. If you don't see the terminal, you can click view and there you will be able to choose the terminal or any of the things that maybe disappear. 
So yeah, go to the terminal and write npm install. Then click run scene and open the preview in your browser. You should be able to see the same preview that took place in the builder. Now close Visual Studio Code, close it, and go to digilive.org. Here you have to log in with the MetaMask, you have the NFTs. Press Marketplace, sell, and choose the NFT you want to list on the Marketplace. In this case, I'm going to choose a central and wearable, which is basically one of those things that the central and players can wear in the game. Approve everything on MetaMask. And choose a price on ICE. You can check the price on, of ICE, search on Google or link in the description again. And select the token available. This is because if there are more tokens of the same type of NFT, you will be able to see them here. Press publish now, keep accepting stuff on MetaMask, and later on you will be able to see it on listings. Now click the business dashboard to go to a new panel. This panel uses a different account from the other one you were using, so create a new account there and then log in. Once you're logged in, just click new scene. There, choose a name for your scene and press market. These two codes are the ones we have to add to our project. Open Visual Studio Code as an administrator. In this case, the project is already open, but if it wasn't, you can just press File, Open Folder, and choose the folder. And then on the terminal, paste the command using the right click and then press Enter. Now let's go with the second code. On the directory of the project, there is a file called GameTS. Now go to GameTS, copy the code of DigiLive, and paste it after the import lines. Press File and Save. Click the central extension. If it has to install or download something, just wait and then run it and open it with your browser. Now it's time to add NFTs to our store. To add an NFT on the business dashboard of DigiLive, press add slot. Give it a name, set it enabled, and put one, in this case, on all the fields, except on C, which I'm going to put 180. Then choose the NFT. You have two types of NFTs you can choose. The one I published was a Decentral and Wearable, so you can choose the Decentral and Wearables, and you can also choose pictures or like normal NFTs. Since I haven't published a picture to the marketplace, I'm going to choose the NFT from someone else, which of course you can do because that's another cool feature of DigiLive. It allows you to sell and to put NFTs from someone else in your own store. So if you have a friend or a partner, yeah, you can put their NFTs in your own store. I will press save and once saved, I will click the three dots, joystick and view in browser. Then I'm going to refresh my Decentral and preview. What I'm going to do is to put in one side of the screen, the joystick and in the other side of the screen, the Decentral and preview. And using the joystick, I will be able to position this picture in one of the stands so it looks as I want. Once I'm happy with the picture, I will press save. Now, yes, I'm going to do it with the wearable that I've listed before. On the business dashboard, I choose the scene marketplace and add a new slot. I give it a name. I set enabled and now because this is an essential and wearable and not a picture, I'm going to put one on all the fields. And I search for the NFT I previously listed. There's actually a button to look the NFTs from a specific wallet. So if you want to be sure that the NFT you are choosing is yours and not from someone else, you can click that button and then paste your public address to just show your NFTs. I choose the NFT, press save and open the joystick again. I'm going to refresh the central and preview and with both tabs open, I'm going to move this guy to its spot. Once it's ready, I will press save to tell DigiLive that's the position of the wearable. 
My store is working and the NFTs are being displayed. However, in order for everyone to see it, we will have to publish it. As you remember, we have two options, lands and worlds. Let's go first with the group of lands I rented before. Open Visual Studio Code and on scene GSON or JSON for our friends. On parcels, you need to replace with the coordinates our land is taking. Do you remember those numbers we took before when we were like walking all around our land? Exactly, those are the numbers we need to put there. The base has to be the land coordinates from the southwest corner. In my case, it was the first land I was standing on. Then press File, Save, and click the Central extension. Click Publish Scene, open with your browser, sign and deploy, and sign everything with MetaMask. Then on the Visual Studio Code output, you will be able to see content uploaded. That means that your store is uploaded successfully. So now if you go to your land in the central land, you should be able to see your store with all the NFTs that you put there. In the case of worlds... Hey, what's up? It's Sobi from the future. You like my beanie? Well, actually I forgot to explain how to buy a name in the central land. It's not that hard, but I thought that maybe it could be a good idea to put it here. This is the names tab of the builder of Decentraland. As you see, I currently hold the name Decentral Fun. To add a new name, I have to press the plus button and choose the name that I want to claim. In this case, I will choose Tobix CC. Now, I will press claim for 100 mana on Ethereum. Here, I have to re-enter my name. I press continue and I authorize Decentraland to spend my mana for the name. I approve everything on MetaMask and once it's done, I will proceed to click confirm transaction. I sign again on MetaMask I wait a bit more, and I will have my new DCL name. In the case of worlds, we don't really have to set the land coordinates, so you can keep it as it is, exactly the same as you downloaded the files from the builder, you don't have to touch anything. The only thing is to add a worlds configuration in the code to the scene GSON or the scene JSON, and replace it with your name with the DCL ETH extension. Once saved, click the three dots and you will see a button that says publish scene to your own world, open browser, sign and then on the Visual Studio Code output you will see content uploaded. Then in the central end you can open the chat and do slash world your name of the central end dot ETH dot DCL to go to your own world. Then you just copy the link and send that link to your friends so they can jump there. DigiLive has all the cool features such as an NFT minter where you can create your own NFTs or the possibility of embedding your NFTs, the same NFTs that you listed on the marketplace, on your own website. So people can buy directly from your website. Remember that everything you have watched today is just the first version of DigiLive and the thing is going to get updated and more updated. If you're looking for custom developments or you need advising or whatever, you can reach me out. I'm going to put you a website there to contact me. If you need general help, feel free to reach me on Discord. There is a Discord server. We'll be helping there because the idea is actually to make the central end grow, since I love the central end, and also help the community uh, of Web3. If this video was useful to you, feel free to give it a like, subscribe. Peace.